This is a female. <clears throat> like I mentioned before, they're in breeding season. These things are really, really bad for the environment now here in Florida. They're they're invasive. They're out of control. Um, so, you know, I just try to encourage, uh, you know, hunting these things, hunting them, killing them. Um, so I encourage hunting these things. And, uh, you know, obviously they taste delicious. They call them chicken from another tree for a reason. So um, the, the females, they're just not as tough as the males. So, um, you know, we just get the legs off, chop the feet off. You know, it's how much easier that goes. Let's come up in here in the middle. Right there, with it right under that underskin there. Slice that out like this. Careful, always cut away from yourself. And uh, just these things are awesome, awesome. You can just cook it any way. You can grill them. You can uh, bake them. You can fry them. Cook any, cook it like you're gonna cook a chicken. Um, you know, no, no more strange than people eat crab legs, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, no more strange than people eat frog legs, uh, alligator. I just like these better, mainly because they're not scavengers. You know, they don't, they pretty much have a flower and grass diet, you know, so organic uh, source, uh, sustainable, you know, so these things are very low fat, very lean meat, high in protein, very high in protein. South America, this is a, a delicacy. So it's something we try to endorse here in Florida, try to help the, the, the state of Florida control the population because they're just, there's no natural predators. No, there's, no, um, there's no natural predators. There's no, no, no control. There's, there's just these things are just, it's the perfect environment. They, 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 it's always hot here year round for the most part. They love it, they thrive in that kind of, they love it. They thrive in that kind of weather. All right, so uh, I, what I do is I go ahead and just harvest the tails and the legs. Um, that's just where the meat is. It's just to me, there's just not enough meat in this, in here, in the ribs and the head. Maybe you get a little bit out of the jowls, but it's just not worth the work for me. I mean, I, I, all the meat here, the muscles, and this is this is where it is. This is where I make my uh, my uh, my dragon wings, and you know. Well, there you go. Uh, that, that's where it's at. I get that about this much out of the tail. What's that? Maybe six inches from the, from the from the back of the tail. We harvest that. That's where it's all at. That's where the flavor is. This is the filet mignon of the animal. This is where the best meat is uh, on the bottom here. So what we're going to just take all this. Ultimately, this is this is. I mean, look how white and white that is. This is beautiful, beautiful, like a beautiful piece of meat, like fish mixed with chicken. It's amazing. So um, that'll let you know, you guys. Perfectly designed to hold on trees. I mean, things get a hold of you. I mean, but it's just part of their, their defense. Um, this prehistoric, just how the way they're made, man. And these things are just amazing. Look at the muscle in these legs. Something incredible. And uh, I just kind of like to make sure they're clean, really clean, and, and I kind of just squeeze a little lemons and limes in there. That just helps to clean the meat and kind of disinfect it a little bit, um, you know. So we'll let it sit a little bit, soak, and then rinse them out. So I'm going to go ahead. And we're going to do a couple of different ways. I think I'm going to try to fry some, a uh, little fried chicken style with a little buffalo sauce. Um, I'll start off with I don't know, maybe a cup of uh, flour. Um, I like to add probably equal, maybe a smaller part of, or half a cup of cornstarch with it. Um, that'll add <coughs> crispier element to it, help dry out the meat more before you fry it. Then I'll kind of just make sure it's all nice and stirred together, just like that. Season it a little bit, a little pepper. Um, pepper, season it, a little salt, a little kosher salt. That's it, kind of mix it up, keep it a little simple. And we're going to go ahead, I'm going to get the, the uh, meat in here, then we'll pre-season it there, then I'll dredge it, and at that point we'll get it ready for the fryer. We're going to go ahead and season them. We're going to do our little dragon wings. 
Got a little pieces here, kind of already clean. We'll do some garlic powder. I'm gonna go with some uh, Tony Chakaris Creole seasoning. Kick up a little spice. I'll use this to salt it also, just like that. Some black pepper. We ain't shy, we like it spicy around here. And then going with a little by the complete seasoning. Mix it all up. Get it all nice and nice. Make sure it's all evenly mixed in there. Just like that. I think I'm gonna add a little paprika in there and a little more chili powder. Let me grab that. A little chili powder. A little more kick. Gives it a little smoky element also. A little paprika. Add some color to it. Go ahead, make sure all nice and mixed in. Like that. Man, that smells good now. All right. Something like that. I'll finish it off with a little lime juice. Get everything married in there. Gotta just keep that acidity in there. Like that. We'll let that sit and we'll get the oil ready. Right now we're gonna work on our buffalo sauce. We can get this thing from teetering. So we're gonna melt down the butter, about two sticks of butter, should do it. And we'll add about a half a cup of vinegar, or a quarter cup of vinegar, I'm sorry. So like I said, two sticks of butter, a uh, quarter cup of vinegar, get that all melted down. Then we're gonna add our hot sauce. This is my homemade red goat hot sauce. I mean, it's not labeled right now, but and then with that, we'll go another, let's go another half a cup. Full sauce, we'll get that, make sure everything is blended and stirred down. Starting to smell like buffalo sauce, baby. Make sure all that butter's melted, just like that. All right, so we'll go ahead and put this aside. Let's just test it if the oil's hot. A little flour in there. Looks like it's pretty close, so we'll go ahead and, uh, I got a couple dredged here. The dragon wings, go ahead and set them in there. Get her cooking. Beautiful man, look at that. Nice, crispy, perfectly breaded. Look at that thing of beauty. We'll let it cook her up a little more and keep it rolling. How about that, guys? I just make sure they stay in a little longer. So they really cook this side, you know. Just play around, I'll take no chances. But man, that's looking beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and pull a couple of these out. Pop them in here. Let them sit here and get nice. Look at that, man. Come on. Look at this thing. Look at that breading. That's that cornstarch. Yeah, that, the way it gives it that that nice crunchiness. Unreal. All right, ready? Go. Take it. What you think? I'm gonna go get water. Get <laughs> I'm trying to know. It tastes like something like something specific. I just can't think of what. So, so no chicken, no fish. Almost more like fish than chicken. Really? Yeah. Um, I can't like describe it. It's different. Ready? Set. Eat it. Mmm. How's it taste, Kainoa? Good. What's it taste like? What's it taste like? Oh. Chicken. Chicken. What did you call it? Chicken. What? Did you call it lizard chicken? Lizard chicken. <laughs> All nice and hot and ready and mixed up. Look at these dragon wings. Perfectly breaded, beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead, mix it up, let's pour it in there. Look at that, thing of beauty. Woo -wee. Come on, man. Where are you gonna get something like that at? Where are you gonna get something? We'll go ahead and give it a little toss. Give it a little toss. 